Look at him! Look at him! Oh my god! Thank you! Yes, Dance King RM! This year's UK okay Pop Awards is brought to you by the UK okay Pop Shop, fan made merch for all fandoms. Hello! And welcome back to the annual UK okay Pop Awards! Ooh, 2021! <laughs> yes. It is the most unbiasedly biased award show. Yes. No, I got that backwards. Most biasedly unbiased. The most biasedly biased award show. What? No. We're biased. <laughs> Today is a special day because it's been a year for K-pop, hasn't it? It has. <laughs> like, things are going on. Concerts are now finally happening. Yes. Uh, we had a lot of online concerts this year. We did. Um, it was very fun. It was great. Um, it helped us over. <laughs> it did, but now we're finally getting back to in-person events. And it's just, it's just making this like a nice end of the year surprise and fun yes. just moments. <laughs> yes. Um, but we had quite a few very exciting uh, categories that we added this year. Um, there was just so much K-pop to choose from, we had to come up with some more. Yeah. So we might as well get started. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to be, be a journey. It's going to be a show. <laughs> um, but yes, we will go ladies first. So here is the best girl group choreography. Best girl group choreography. Purple Kiss, Hanzona. Everglow, first. Dreamcatcher, Odd Eye. Itzy, Mafia in the Morning. And the winner is. Glow with first. Yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> Truly groundbreaking choreography. Honestly, there. yes. I was taken aback at just how unique the overall feeling of it was. Mm. They just they just went for it. Yeah. Like we were watching all of the nominees and we were like, Everglow just has some sort of element mm. uh, where it's just like they just put their whole like soul and body like into their moves and it was just really nice to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, every time I watched it I would get chills. Yes. So. Like that kick. Would, mm, that was just like I'm kicked in the face every single yes. time. Yes. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Yeah, speaking let's of choreography, on. let's move on to, to the, the males. To the boys. The males. That's how it is. To good. the males. Yeah. But they're called boy groups, so we're going with best boy group choreography. And the nominees are... Best boy group choreography. And hyphen, Drunk Days. Seventeen, Rock With You. Eighties, Fireworks. Shiny, Don't Call Me. And the winner of Best Boy Group Choreography is Seventeen's Rock With You. Congratulations! <laughs> yes, that, the footwork in that was something else. Also, all the transitions were and just, so seamless. Yeah, and the synchronicity between all the members, it really worked. And they were working without uh, the 8 and June for, some for of a the lot time, of it. So they but they to... did incorporate them as much as they could mm. in choreography videos. So. It was great. Yes. Yeah. And this year we have a new category that we've added. Yes. We've added an MVP subscriber award. Yes, much uh, anticipated for us because we just we, we just have so much yeah. love for this. <laughs> yeah, but also like our channel has grown so much, so it's really nice that we're kind of able to recognize some of you guys. Yeah, you so. guys keep coming back, commenting, having a good time, and we get to like. We like remember your names. It's really mm. fun to interact with you. Yes, but our MVP this year is Richard. Richard, congratulations! 
Which I should always comment such nice awful things on our like videos. Like long, lengthy posts like yes. that are really in-depth and it just makes my day every single time I see their name pop up. Yeah, so we have something <laughs> special that yes. we made. So I promised to make this after their first comment. Uh, their first comment was actually on our last year's mm -hmm. award show. Uh, it's probably glared out right now. I can get a nice fancy shot to put in um, yes. on the screen. But and I will read it yeah. for you. This is their first comment. Yes. <laughs> uh, it says, I cried, I cheered, I bit the pillow that was in my lap as I waited breathlessly for the results, and then several emojis to demonstrate those yes, feelings. Yes, lots of tears and like... Um, uh, uh, woof 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 woof, my copyright free dog version of Dynamite minus the music video because we played Bongo yeah, Cat as our, as our special feature <laughs> that year. Um, amazing award show, the best I've ever seen. I have tears rolling down my cheeks even now. The emotional... Then surprising, my queen's twice swan, twice queen. Yes, twice. Uh, biased show met all expectations. Actually, it exceeded them, and this is worthy of the first annual K-pop reaction award show for K-pop award shows. Yes. Uh, this was just a brilliant concept and flawlessly executed. Well done, my copyright-free visual a uh, visual version of the BTS classic, and he put in a bunch of emojis to demonstrate that. Ugh. So yes, well so we, we framed it. We put yeah, it on under the class. comment, I did comment <laughs> that I would frame this and put it in a place of honor, which I I am true to my word. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. But yeah, Richard, Richard, you are a gem among gems. Just thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> Never leave us, because I don't know what I would do <laughs> without you. Okay. On, we should Back get into music. Yeah, get into some K bands. This year was a it was a good year for bands. It really so was. So some of them were had some bands that we like um, had members in the military, mm. but we also had some new ones kind of come in yeah, and like fill that void, mm. and some came back from the military to fill that void. So I was very happy about that. But we will read the nominees for best K band comeback. Best K band comeback. And flying moonshot. Rolling courts, blaze. CN blue, love cut. One wee star. And the winner is. I can get it out the envelope. <laughs> Gotta love it. Rolling Quartz with Blaze. Yes. Thank you for, if you guys haven't checked out Rolling Quartz yet, you definitely should. They are brand new on the scene and they are taking it by storm. Yes. <laughs> like truly, I was in awe when I saw them. Like it just brought so much great like nostalgia because I used to listen to that type of music yeah. all the time in middle school. Um, but uh, they just, took it in stride and they're making it their own. Mm -hmm. And they're an all girl band, so that's very cool yeah, too. Yeah, it's really cool. And they're styling every single time. It's just mm -hmm. so on point. Like, I wish I could look like that, but yes. here I am. <laughs> <laughs> all right, speaking of women. Speaking of the ladies, let's get into best female solo. We actually had to split up the categories. Yeah. This year there were so many. So many <laughs> solos this year, which I mean, I'm not complaining. I love a good solo moment. So we actually did a vocal category uh, for both male and female. And then we did a more performance based solo category for mm. both. So this is the vocal category for female solos. And the nominees are Best Female Solo. IU, Lilac. Taeyeon, Weekend. Rose, On the Ground. Wendy, Like Water. And the winner for best female solo, the vocal version, is Wendy with Like Water. Yes, that girl. girl. She can sing. She can sing. Like, I remember when I first watched that, <laughs> I was just like, how does that happen? Her breath support is just, <laughs> I don't know. It's stunning. Like, <laughs> like, and she's stunning. So I I'm know. like she breathless was... by the visuals and then like she, <laughs> sayings and I'm like oh no <laughs> oh no yeah someone needs to breathe for me yeah 
I don't know, man. She's just, she's not human. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. And now on to the uh, men for the best male solo, the vocal version. Uh, and the nominees are... Best male solo. Woosung, Dimples. Baekhyun, Bambi. BM, Broken Me. DPR Ian, Nerves. And the winner is... Baekhyun with Bambi. Congratulations, Baekhyun! Woo! Yes, that, that was, was a... That was a vocal performance if I'd ever seen one. And visual performance, but we, especially the vocals on that. They were like, just, they were so smooth. smooth just like sultry. The runs. Mm. Oh, that boy. <laughs> that boy can sing. Mm. It's got to hold me over while he's in the military. Yeah, and the concept like was just perfectly was so combined with his voice it. too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Congratulations. That was very well deserved. <laughs> well deserved. Okay. All right. Well, we had a new up, category. We have a new category. Yes. Best collab. Because there was actually quite a few collabs mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. Um, I was just pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things that I, I had requested from K-pop was mm -hmm. to collab more. Because yeah, back we, in the day, they used to a lot. Well, then we lost a lot during 2020 for mm -hmm. obvious reasons. But now we're getting back into the flow of it and we're living our best lives. Yes. <laughs> so the nominees for best collab are... Best collab. Hyuna and Dawn. Ping pong. Ping pong. Ping pong. ATs and pentatonics, a little space. Wanu, Mingyu, and Lee Hai, bittersweet. Hyoyeon and Bibi, second. And the winner is ATs X pentatonics with a little space. Yes. That was truly something to behold. You love that song. I am obsessed <laughs> with that song. It's so great. Um, yeah, I've loved Pentatonix. I followed them since they were on the sing off. I watched yeah, this. I, I watched remember this, those days. I watched the sing off when they were on there, and they were one of my favorites. So yeah, I have like all of their early albums too. Like I was a Pentatonix nerd. Okay, I still kind of am. Yeah. But yeah, when I saw that. They it's collab like two with worlds 80s. collide. I was like, one of my favorite groups collabing with one of my <laughs> other favorite groups. <laughs> and the song was great. And the, the music video was really too. cool too. Oh, yeah. Because ATs couldn't be with Pentatonix to film it, so they incorporated them very creatively. And they just didn't do like the whole like Zoom call. Like they uh, like added that feature in, but they actually made it more creative than mm. just a typical like squares on a screen. Yes. Which I really enjoyed. Yes. They like seamlessly like join the two groups and I really like that. Yeah, so if you haven't seen that music video, please yeah, go check it check out. Yeah, check it out. It's a great song as well, like super catchy and just like beautiful to listen to. Mm. Um, but speaking of 80s, they have a concert coming up. They do. They do. And uh, whether you have tickets to that or not, uh, you may want some some fun little fan-made merch to go along with that. Uh, and where could we, where could you get where, said fan-made merch? Um, possibly at the ukkpopshop.com. Hey, Ateemi, if you haven't already, you can check out our first round of ATs themed merch over at ukkpopshop.com. We have stickers, buttons, iron-on patches, and even a commemorative patch to celebrate their world tour 2022. This patch, however, is limited edition, so once it sells out, we are not bringing it back. So if it interests you at all, I would go get one now. You can find this and so much more over at ukkpopshop.com. And now we're going to move back into some music here. Um, there was a lot of again, <laughs> continuing on with the, the solos. solos. Um, there is a plethora. <laughs> yeah. So we, uh, like I said, we split it up into vocal and performance. So here we're going to look at the best female solo performances of 2021, and the nominees are best female solo performance. Lisa. 
Lalisa. Gonna, I'm not cool. Somi, XOXO. Chunga, bicycle. And the winner is Chunga with bicycle. That was yeah, that was quite that was quite the the dance break that she, she had. And literally there. made a motorcycle out of people. It was great. or like a bicycle out of people. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. It very is very cool. It was creative, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Much. <laughs> I I thoroughly enjoyed watching that. Yeah, it was just a good time overall, but it doesn't stop there. No, let's see what the men brought. The men brought some stuff as well. Let's get into it. Here are the nominees for Best Male Solo Performance. Best Male Solo Performance. Taman, Advice. Bam Bam, Ribbon. Kai, Peaches. Hoshi, Spider. And the winner is... Hoshi with Spider. Yes. My boy did acrobatics. He did. He brought out the like whole like swing set situation. I am. <laughs> what is it called? A pull-up bar? He was like flipping around on that. I would die. Yeah. I would not be alive if I was like trying to do that. It was it was definitely <laughs> fall. another level of mm. performance and for a first solo that was truly impressive. And he sang live while doing it. I'm pretty sure he did. I don't He's, think that was completely pre-recorded. Like no, there was some place he showed that had you because be. he would take away the mic and there'd be nothing and then he would start singing yeah. again. Yeah, I don't know how. That boy. Props that to you, boy has Tiger power. Put on gay. Okay, and now on to the more emotional side of mm. things. Um, I've been recently binging some K-dramas again. I take breaks because they make me lonely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But but the, this yeah. is just something about the OSTs that accompany the different dramas that just really help put you right into the feels. And it really sticks with you after the drama ends. Mm -hmm. Like, I listen to them like regular music. And when you listen to them again, you you get reminded of all I the know. feeling that the show gave yeah, you. Yeah, and it makes you want to rewatch them. Yeah. It's a whole cycle. <laughs> so here are the nominees for Best OST. Best OST. Sam Kim, Love Me Like That. Can you love me like, can you love me like that? Jin, Yours. Ailey, Breaking Down. Fekyun, Is It Me? And the winner is... Ailey with Breaking Down. Congratulations! Ooh. That woman has a voice. That, the bell to oh. the end. She, I mean, we knew she could belt. But like she but, did like, it with such feeling in this one. Like mm -hmm. I feel like they're really like she she was really feeling that song. Yeah. I mean she really was feeling that song. It was just it blew me away. First time yes. I listened to it, I was like, well that's the winner. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of new things, we're doing Rookie of the Year this year. Well I don't think we did that last we year. We did not we? do that last no. year. No. So we're adding in some spicy flavors. There were some powerful rookies. This there year. was. We've done we did videos with a bunch of newer K-pop groups. Yep. And they all really blew us away. Like really blew us away. Like we were <laughs> like, are these actually rookies? Like, are we just, yeah. like, are we mistaken here? <laughs> like, But out of all of them, there was really one group that shone above the rest. And Rookie of the Year goes to Purple Kiss. Yeah! They actually got a few nominations this year. That's, yeah. They yeah. were, they're really, they're really tearing things up. They, so. Those ladies know how to dance, they know mm -hmm. how to sing, they know how to look freaking fabulous while doing it. Yes. For another new category that we had this year, we we mentioned in quite a few of our videos that songs get stuck in our head all the time. Yes. So we thought 
let's make a category about it. <laughs> I mean, because they have like these songs have not left my head since I've heard them. Yeah, which is crazy. But I think <laughs> one of them stuck the most. Oh yes, <laughs> it's still there. It's, it's like on loop. <laughs> it's just every day. Yes. So the winner of the catchiest song of 2021 goes to. Momo Land with Wrap Me in Plastic. <laughs> so yes, congratulations, Momo Land. Very well deserved. Very good song. Very Seriously. stunning music video. Oh yes, so pink. So yes, pink. it was so colorful. <laughs> I loved it. Um, but now on to more pleasant things to look at. Pleasant visuals. Visuals coming from people. <laughs> there's a lot of nice looking people out there, so there it's always it's always people. hard to choose this category. Uh, but some people just you know when you know. Mm. And the nominees for Hottie with a Body are Hottie with a Body, Wanho, BM. Jungkook And the winner is BM Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, man. He's a return He's, he's a return, return nominee We had a couple return nominees mm -hmm. this year Cause like Wano, he's still He's still, still built going. I mean, he's, he's never not going to be built, to be completely honest. But yeah, with his solo debut, yep. he was looking fine. Yeah, those, those gym days are really paying off, my dude. <laughs> like, his whole Instagram is just gym it's, selfies, and congrats. Congrats. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we've looked at the men, let's look at some women. Yes, of course. <laughs> you got to keep it, kind of keep it evil up in here. Yeah. So here are our nominees. For visual goddess. Mm -hmm. Visual goddess. Sunmi. Yirin. Na Goen. Momo. Congratulations! Yeah. She had a couple comebacks this year and looked flawless in both of them. Yes. Uh, versatile looks, which is why I thought, let's give it to her. Yeah, she was look, she looking great. We didn't do reactions to her music videos, so let's spoil her a little yeah. bit here. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's always beautiful. Though. I know. Everyone, uh, everyone, everyone the all the nominees, gorgeous. Like it was hard to choose. We, to be I was like, I was actually staying up late last night looking at pictures of. <laughs> Who is the best? <laughs> Who do I think they're all perfect here because they're stunning. They all make me jealous. Yeah. I want to look good. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. that's that's how I spent my night <laughs> in agony over who's the prettiest yeah. out of all of these nominees. Yes. Oh. But now we're nearing uh, some yeah. of the the end of the award show kind this of. year. We're kind like, of. We have a few. The, here are the, the these are the big awards. The, the big awards that, that have we more have. weight. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, this category is girl group best music video. Yes. There was so many. Like we were still picking music these videos up until yeah. right before we started filming. Yep. Like we had to go get outside opinions. Yeah, we did. We <laughs> asked our family. <laughs> they don't like K-pop. We don't like K-pop. <laughs> like this is how it's, we literally could have put any of these in a bucket and just drawn a name out, and that would have been the winner. We yep. would have been satisfied. But <laughs> we tried really hard to like make it. Purely unbiased, but it's still kind of it's biased. Still to be completely little, honest, a little. Mm. Like, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> the nominees for best girl group music video are best girl group music video. G Idol, Hua. Everglow, Pirate. Purple Kiss, Zombie. Twice, alcohol free. And the winner is G Idol with 
花。Congratulations! Yeah, get it. That set was beautiful. There were so many different sets too. Yeah, like I really loved. Like there was like a red one, and there was like she was in. Uh, Soyeon was in a nest kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> it and was just so. It looked like I went to like a modern art museum, but I was just watching a music video. Yeah, like that's what I felt like I was doing. Which mm -hmm. I mean, I I consider that to be the best art. Yes. So yeah. Congratulations, G <laughs> Idol. Uh, it was very well deserved this year. And now, on to the boys! Like yes. this. That's <laughs> Not what, the boys, but, but the boy group. The boy group. <laughs> the, yeah. So here are the nominees for Best Boy Group Music Video. Best Boy Group Music Video. 17, Ready to Love. TXT, Loser Equals Lover. Treasure, my treasure. 80s, deja vu. And the winner is. <laughs> cut that. It's going cut that out. Nope. And the winner is. Treasure with my treasure. Yeah. Woo! When I tell oh, you how long it took us to pick, it took we we oh. got we got outside opinions from your mom and your sister who both hate K-pop. Yep, and <laughs> that's the conclusion. That we came was the to. conclusion. <laughs> like yes, honestly, each nominee deserves it. Um, mm. They're all great, unique in their each individual way. But treasures, it was just there was like next level editing. Like there was there. story, there was visuals, and it just. It just, the song as well is just very just encapsulating. Yeah. Like whenever I watch it, I like can't look away. Mm. Cause there's just so much going on and it's just so good. Yeah, <laughs> but it's also not too much going on that it isn't Yeah, it's not overwhelming. So, but it's just really enjoyable it overall. Is. Like it you is. can watch our reaction to it. <laughs> that we had like a cuteness overload in that yes. video. We were just like, ah, they're adorable and it's beautiful and we love it. Yeah, so uh, congratulations yeah. Treasure. So now we have our unique award. Yeah. Not chosen by us, so this yeah, one is so biased. This is completely not biased. This is the only not biased award we're giving out. Yes. Uh, so this one is chosen completely by you guys. We put up a poll on our community tab and you guys voted on the most iconic moment of 2021. Most iconic moment of 2021. BTS at the AMAs. Itzy's Mama Performance. TXT X and Hyphen Legends of K-Pop Collab Stage. 80s Stray Kids and B2B's Wolf Cover Performance on Kingdom. Treasure, two-day concert. Congratulations TXT and N Hyphen, your Legends of K-Pop stage was truly that legendary. Hey Josie. Yes. Do you know BTS? I do. Do you like BTS? Possibly. <laughs> Why do you ask? Do you want to wear some BTS stuff? All day, every day. <laughs> do you want to put some stickers on your laptop? Yes. I got something for you. Look at how stunning. Wow. How stunning. Wow, I love the purple. There's a I lot have, of purple going on. It's almost like I purple you. <laughs> oh, oh, that was smooth. That was smooth. That was smooth. <laughs> so yeah, do you remember where you can get that beautiful it's sticker there? The uhkpopshop.com. You would be correct. That is uhkpopshop.com. Wow. Wow. They have their own. They have their own website too. Oh. Wow. That's fancy, right? It there. is. <laughs> Right, yeah. so we, we reached, the, reached end. the end. Yeah, with our two last major categories. Yes. Yeah. So our two last categories are song of the year and album of the year. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there was a lot to choose from. Yeah, especially song. <laughs> yes, yeah, song. There were some great songs that came out this yeah, year. Yeah, there was. Um, but I think what we went for was just the overall cultural impact of mm -hmm. a song. Um, and so it was kind of obvious, <laughs> I think. Yeah, you're probably if you're all on Stan Twitter at thinking all. Thinking it. Um, congratulations, BTS. 
but Butter is our song of the year. Yes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you didn't ask for that. I apologize. But yeah, they have one artist of the year with that. And on and yeah, yeah, in America. Yep, the AMAs. Yeah, like yeah. it's huge. They performed that at the AMAs and then they took home their Artist of the Year. Yeah, one, which, which I mean, is huge. What bigger like impact can you make at this point? Yeah, like, crazy. It, I told you that song was made for the world in our reaction video, and it yeah. truly was. So. It paid off. It came to fruition. Yes, congratulations, <laughs> BTS. Yes. Last year you won Album of the Year. This year continue with song of the year. You're just holding your title. Yes. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Kings. Kings. Okay, and the last award. I know. This year. This we, went by fast. This, this did. Like, wow. Um, yeah. We listened to a lot of albums. So many albums <laughs> to choose from. Like, wow. <laughs> like, a lot came out. A lot of, like, more mini albums, uh, which is, there were a lot of great ones mm -hmm. as well. And a few full albums as well came yeah. out. Um, and we listened to them all. <laughs> we listened to them all in order to get the full album experience. Wow. It, it was a time, but we have come to the conclusion. It took a lot of like scrutinizing over this. Um, but the album of the year for 2021 is TXT's The Chaos Chapter Freeze. Congratulations! They're so young and they're already out here winning the big, the big award at the end. They deserve it though. Like, that was a really good We compared good album. it to people of like groups and like artists of like all sizes and like mm. all walks of their career. And honestly, TXT had the best yeah. album this year. <laughs> like, I was like, listening to it, I was like, <gasps> this is like, not a rookie album. I guess they're not yeah. really rookies anymore. They're, I mean, they're, they're like, like barely out of a, the rookie stage. Yeah, just barely, but it they was really something special. And like we've said in our videos where we talk about them, they finally found their sound. Mm. I think. Like that's, I think, what made this album special is that you just see them come into their own so much with a uh, zero x one equals love song. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. and. Frost, <laughs> like that's a freaking crazy song. I know. I don't know if we're, we have a reaction. I don't know if it's coming it's out, out before yeah, or out. after. It's out. Okay, <laughs> it'll be out before this. <laughs> but yeah, it, you can see our reaction to the album actually. Yeah, we I'll put it up here. Yeah, we can go see yeah. it. Yeah, uh, and you can see just how moved we were <laughs> by yeah. by Frost, especially. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Dear Spudnik was also a very big highlight for me mm -hmm. on that album. But yeah, that. Yeah, we do have quite a few TXT reactions, so feel free to watch all of them. <laughs> all of them if you would like. Um, but yeah, they deserve it. They are the true winners of Album of the Year. Congratulations! So, yes! And we hope everyone enjoyed the second annual uh, K-Pop Awards. Yes. Uh, we hope to continue making this content um, in the future. As biasedly unbiased as possible. <laughs> what did you think of the winners? Um, yeah, is there someone else that we missed that should have been nominated? You can tell us in the comments below. <laughs> be brutally honest. Be brutally honest, but also be kind of nice because <laughs> It's yeah, fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. But yes. Uh, oh yeah, it's been a year. It's been a year. We hope that 2021 treated you well. And 2022 treats you even better. Yes. <laughs> even better. Even better. Especially with more live shows being scheduled mm -hmm. and stuff like that coming. So I hope you guys are excited. We are as well. And this can actually expand our content too. We can actually yeah. go out in the world and experience K-pop yeah. these days. So I'm excited for 2022. Yes. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more fun K-pop content. And I don't know, I've heard a rumor about this great merch shop <laughs> called lkpop.com where you, you can may, get- You just may want to check it some out. Fun they may or not, may not be sponsoring this uh, award show. Uh, you know, you know, you know, check it out. You can check it out. <laughs> and I hear they have great things. All right. But that's just coming from me. Well, but we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Congratulations. 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 <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> now I'm going to put my hoodie back on. Okay. And um, I'll grab the, that's a light.